Hi, this is Tyson with another SketchUp Skill Builder for you. Today we'll look at creating repeating patterns or tiles as a fun exercise in creating components. They're also really useful for layout if you use the patterns in layout. And I'll create a second Skill Builder video that talks specifically how to get these patterns into layout. But for now, let's jump in. And we'll start by creating a rectangular square. I'm going to make mine 4 by 4 inches. And the ratio of this rectangle is not as important as using just real uh, dimensions that you can remember. The other thing let's do is go to camera, standard views, top, and turn perspective off. And then select this and turn it into a component. Now that we have a component, let's copy it. Start moving it. Press the option key on a Mac or control key on a PC. If you're not familiar with arrays, we have videos and help documents on that. Or you can just copy it so that we have a grid of nine squares. Now I'm going to edit one of these and I want to start by erasing uh, or hiding actually the outside edges. But if I use the eraser tool, we we'll actually lose our surface and edge, so I'll undo. And instead, hold the shift key down, and then when you erase the edge, it actually will hide it. So now we have our seamless grid ready to create our pattern. Let's start by editing this central square and just drawing a line. I'm just going to draw a line that crosses over the boundaries of it. And what happens is that even though our edges are hidden, they're still there, which means they automatically break up these edges. So this becomes really useful because we can erase outside edges, but we also can see where to start other edges. We can hover over this, get a parallel, come up here, and then use the eraser because it'll be automatically broken. And now I can complete and draw to this edge. If we zoom out, we can see that our repeating pattern has been created. That's really all there is to it. Now it's just up to your imagination and how detailed you want to go. Because these edges break shapes automatically, we can do things like circles and easily copy part of that circle. Remember, we'll need to copy it, not just move it, right down here where it needs to go, and then erase out that top part we don't need. That completes that. And just remember that you want to keep everything contained within your rectangle, and it's easy to do. You can, again, draw over edges, and even outside, but then take the extra shape and copy it over and then erase the part that you don't need. So that's the basics. Give it a try. Have some fun. One more tip on if you want to create really highly geometrical shapes. Let's use another example for this. Okay, so I've reset and I have my grid ready to go, but this time I'm actually going to create geometry over here on this side component. Again, it's just a component like the rest. But the reason I'll do that, if I view my guides, you can see that I've started creating a series of guides and I'm spacing them one inches apart. Now you'll remember that I created mine at four by four inches. And so by creating these at one inch apart, I can have a very precise geometric pattern. So with that ready, I'm going to start editing. And I have this one to the side for this purpose. Let's say I'm drawing a whole bunch of circles. And I'm just going to repeat this on all these corners. Now if I were working over here, uh, it's kind of easy to get confused. So that's why I'm 
doing it over here. So create a couple things, some sort of pattern, and then again, these edges are automatically broken, which means, see, you can see that edge, that I can now select just almost to the edge, hit delete, and I can make broad sweeping selections. I'm left with a pretty interesting pattern. Let me delete the guides or hide them. And add just a bit of color to make this interesting. So again, have fun. Give it a try. Cheers.